Good afternoon, everybody. This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Today is Tuesday, July 14th, 2020. I want to start today by a reflection by the Reverend Victoria Safford. She writes, To see, to simply look and to see, is an ethical act and an intentional choice. To see with open eyes is a spiritual practice, and thus, thus a risk, for it can open you to ways of knowing the world and loving it that will lead to inevitable consequences. The awakened eye is a conscious eye, a willful eye, and brave, because to see things as they are, each in their own truth, will make you very vulnerable. Think of yourself as a prism made of glass, reflecting everything exactly as it is, unable to exist dishonestly, reflecting beauty where there's beauty, violence when there's violence, loveliness and unexpected joy where there is joy, violation when there is violation. Here's the front page of the paper. Here's that seedy, gossipy conflict at your job. Here's a memory unblurred by wishful thinking. Here's a perfect afternoon in spring, and buds now on the trees, and blackbirds in the, in the marsh. Here's the world, just as it is. That kind of seeing is a choice, and it is a sacred practice. And then there is refraction, taking into yourself, as a prism takes in light, the truth of what you see and hear, and transforming it somehow changing its direction, acting on it, rendering it somehow anew. That again is holy work. The spring day received comes out again as gratitude, dispersed into a spectrum, a sorrow, yours or someone else's, fully realized and received, not denied, not covered up, not justified or explained away or ignored. Some sorrow clearly bravely seen is taken in, absorbed and felt, and re-emerges, bent now into compassion. To see clearly is an act of will and conscience. It will make you very, very vulnerable. It is persistent, holy, world-transforming work. So the reason um, for using that particular poem is that it captures what I hope we are doing this summer as a congregation. We're looking at our church clearly. We now have four months. We're four months into being an online forward church. And we can start looking and seeing what has worked well, where we've fallen short, and what this next year might look like. You know, in, in some ways that sounds like uh, a, a dry management exercise, but it's also a really beautiful exercise to say, what does this moment mean for us as a community? In Victoria Safford's words, it is a sacred practice to look carefully and see the brokenness, the beauty, and the opportunity of this moment. See you tomorrow.